Hi everyone, how are you doing? I had to light the room today actually because um, it's quite a heavy grey cloud here in London town. Um, thank you for all your lovely messages on my little vlog that I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I can do more things like that out and about if you like. I'm um, also going to try and do like a, a monthly um, film of just like, you know, what's new and what's hot as well as mixing it up with the looks. Got so many ideas I just wish I had, like most of us, 10 days in one week. Um, anyway, I'm going to do the look that I had at the beginning of that vlog, which is just my work makeup look. Um, and when I go to work, I don't actually tend to wear that much makeup. I tend to wear very tonal colours, very simple, mostly because I'm always wearing a mask these days. But I do like to leave home with a little bit of something, even if it does end up on my mask. I'm very reliant on my fake tan drops just to kind of take the, the pink off my skin. Not that you'd know that today, because I obviously need to have a little bit of a touch up. I'm going to try and invest in one of those... Um, uh, LED masks. Do you use them? My skin is a little bit red, so I want to calm it down. Anyway, so let's get on with it. Um, by the way, new nail varnish, Butter London. Really, really like this. It's really sheer, but it's very, very delicate. So thank you, Butter London, for sending me that. Painted Shine times 10. But I just really love these colours. Um, I either can go from one extreme to like a bright pop of colour or just to kind of have those soft, luxy nudes. So I'm going to start with the Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF 20 by Beauty Pie in shade light. Um, and I always do my skincare upstairs, come down, have a coffee, cup of tea, whichever. And then I come and do my makeup. Now, the wonderful thing about this is that it gives really good coverage. Um, it doesn't fade to nothing. So, yeah, so I'm going to do a little comparison of the Charlotte Tilbury um, base for you because actually it's quite nice to see how it's different when you get told oh this is amazing this is great you think well yeah, but how am I going to put that into my routine why is it different or better than what I've already got right you think about wasted you want to make sure that you finish what you've got before you try anything new so I'll, I'll do that next week or in the next couple of weeks um, right it is really that simple for me really just knocks back the red keeps it nice and um, fresh looking and then I go in with my um, Amy, sculpted by Amy, Brighten Up. This is the shade Vanilla. And again, it's much, much lighter than my complexion. But I found this has been really good um, in terms of longevity. It's lasted really well. It hasn't sunk into the creases of my eyes. It hasn't dehydrated my skin throughout the day. And as you can see, woof, it just instantly gives that little bit of light under my eyes, which is... Um, what I crave when I'm putting my makeup on at, you know, sometimes in the dark. Oh, I can't wait for the spring. I can't wait for the summer. I noticed the other evening that it was a little bit lighter at half four and I was like, oh, for those of you in the sunshine, I envy you so much. Um, and there we go. Right. Now I'm going to go in with my Daniel Sandler. Um, it's Lux, the colour is Lux, and this is one of his watercolours. Daniel Sandler has been a friend and a colleague of mine for decades, and he has his own brand. And these are cult blushes. I'm sure you've seen them before. I've used them before uh, in many different ways on my films. So you just put a little drop on the back of your hand. You can use a brush or a finger. This is a lovely shade. And the wonderful thing about this is that it lasts. So you pop the colour on, you get that nice hint of colour across your face, but it's still very, very translucent. So if you like that no makeup makeup look, if you like makeup to not look like makeup and just to look like a natural flush, and they come in many colours, but just because I like that kind of sort of tonal finish for work, just to kind of flatter my face rather than kind of emphasise anything, this is really, really lovely. And again, like the concealer underneath, it's very soft, just gives a little bit of shape. It pulls my cheekbones up, but I've still got a little bit of a soft glow there, but I haven't used any highlighter, I just haven't powdered. And you just build it up. I just tap, 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 until you get the desired amount of what you want. Just that nice differentiation from, just that nice change of skin texture from the base to my cheeks. Um, I'm loving my Avon eyebrow pencil, as you can see, because again, it's super, super grey. A lot of um, eyebrow pencils I use, and actually correctly, someone did say that the brow tint that I used the other Saturday 
did come up a bit red on camera and they do tend to come up red on camera but not in real life but this is really really ashy um, and just for a quick brow um, I just tend to chuck this one on I've got a few favorites I have to say but this is nice and soft and goes on really really quick the Diego de la Palma ones are nice as well because they're sort of powdery now <clears throat> for those of you who watch me on Instagram you'll know that I'm going to try and research powder brows which is like a new form I believe of microblading um, <clears throat> excuse me a frog in my throat um, but it's much softer so I'm going to look into that um, oh I've managed to put rapid brow on my brows once in the last two weeks woohoo by the time I fall into bed I'm like delirious <laughs> my husband's normally jumped into bed before me because I've been faffing around with all my creams and stuff in the bathroom and he's like turn the light out I'm like oh okay and then I forget so yeah that's been pointless as usual so as you can see nice quick frame to my brow um job done so nice big so I think I've used this before actually the superhero by it cosmetics again it's one of those mascaras like push-up lashes um like my honest beauty one I should do a roundup again if you want of my favorite mascaras that are kind of like full-on mascaras um, but they do, they just last and they don't crumble throughout the day. But before that, I'm going to go in with Lovely Rose. Um, this is my Max Factor All Day Eyeshadow. Um, and it's a cream. It comes with a little applicator like this. And I push it over the fullness of my lid there and it gives a nice sheen. I think I've used this before. Sorry if I'm being boring and repetitive. But this is just the makeup that I had on. That everyone said, oh, I really love the makeup. Please do a look for it. So... I'm obeying your orders, my dear subscribers. And I just pat in the edges. Whereas if I applied it all over the lid, I would then end up with too much. So by feathering those edges, the inside and the outside, you then spread the product enough over the eye that you're not actually going to get any extra residue, so you're not going to get the creasing, um, and it's much easier to blend. Things are hard to blend with creams if you just overdo it, which I definitely overdo most things in life um, but if you can just do that it just makes a real difference going with my superhero it cosmetics mascara this is much more of a flushy fluffier brush than I would normally tend to use I do like really short brushes but as you'll see in a matter of moments for my taste I get on a really nice framed eye in probably under 10 seconds just like the hourglass caution one that's a little bit more expensive but for me when I'm wearing very simple makeup I like a little bit of a lash I don't want it obviously to be sort of crusty looking and you know old and um, dry and not defined but I do like definition but we're all so personal aren't we with the mascaras that we like with the lashes we've been blessed with of course we're all got different and we've all got different eye shapes We've all got different lash lengths and thickness, which makes a huge difference. So none of us are probably ever going to agree on the right mascara. The only, that there is only one mascara for all of us, because there simply isn't. We've got to have at least sort of, you know, six or seven to make sure that we've got, we've ticked the box for everybody's mascara needs. Anyway, for me, in it, to be honest, even if I'm doing a smoky eye, whoops, as well, I'll do a stronger lash because the most important thing when you're applying um, beautiful um, eye products or lots of eyeshadows or darker eyeshadows the worst thing that you can do is then go in with a natural mascara because then you don't see the lashes and the lashes are everything the lashes always need to come first before the mascara um, I'm going to use my revolution brow product which I got from Bryony's Superdrug box which is just brilliant uh, really long lasting and it hasn't um, I've been very careful not to get product in it you know, when you get the powder and foundation in it and it starts just to kind of change colour and look a little bit gloopy. Um, I've been very careful and cautious with this, I haven't done it, but I just, it just makes such a difference in the structure of my phrase face if I can just lift those brows and keep them in place, especially with a blooming mask at work. I wonder whether I'll always make people up with a mask on. I wonder. Great, so that is as simple as it gets. Bearing in mind, you know, I probably do my, take five minutes to do my face. Now with my lips and what I had on, 
is um, the Brown and Nude liner by Max Factor, which again is a really, it's like sort of Max Spice, it's a really nice um, lip colour. And this beautiful lip serum by Ruby Hammer, who has been on the channel before, um, and she has her own range. Now I've got three lip balms, one is a neutral, with a little bit of sparkle in, one is a beautiful sheer red, um, and this one, and to me, this just really is that very modern nude, because it's got a little bit of warmth to it. Now nudes are really hard to wear um, because they can drain the colour um, from our faces, they can minimise our lip shape, so that's why you do need a little bit of liner. So I'm going to take the liner just on, I've got some building work next door, as you can hear, just really softly. Just to add a little bit of depth. So when you're working with a nude, you can just give a little bit of differentiation in the colour. So you have the darkness on the outside and slightly lighter on the middle part. And that again gives the effect and trickery of a fuller mouth. And because it's creamy, I always say, just for that soft effect, it looks nice just like that. And it's very, very simple. Um, <clears throat> just rub it together so there isn't a hard line. And then this is just beautiful over the top. It's nice, isn't it? So look, I do look a little bit, I want to say washed out. <laughs> um, but I just look, this for me is my work look. It's not too fussy, it's just very simple. I usually just sort of tie my hair back and off I go. To be honest, when I'm concentrating on other people's faces, I'm not really that interested in what I'm doing. So I don't really, or my makeup's doing, should I say. Um, I just want to have um, just that little flush on the cheeks to kind of brighten under my eyes. When you put your blush on, it really does help to lift the concealer under your eyes. So if you just put the concealer on and you forget to put the blush, you don't get that nice differentiation of colour. Um, and that helps also to brighten underneath the eyes. So it's a really, really soft look. I've let my pigmentation and, you know, my skin in, my skin is not perfected, but that's fine, because I don't want it to be. I've just, I just want it to look like skin, and that's a really good product to do that, and it has SPF 20. So that is my kind of no makeup makeup work look, but I feel confident, and I feel kind of like I've made an effort and put myself together. Do you know what I mean? Some people don't ever wear makeup. I always feel that... Oh no, I don't know if I'm going to Sainsbury's or going to the shops. Or sometimes I don't, of course. Sometimes it's nicely makeup free, but I think if I'm going to work and I didn't wear a scrap of makeup, unless it's five in the morning, which I can never be bothered. Um, I sort of don't feel like I've ironed my clothes or polished my shoes. Not that I've polished my shoes in a long time, if I'm really honest. Anyway, I'm really banging on. <laughs> mm, oh no, that's not a good look, is it? Have I really been chatting to you with all that lipstick? My teeth. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, so there we go. Um, lots to talk about. Really getting into the groove with 2022. Oh yes, 2022. I keep saying 2020. That's <laughs> literally we're all stuck in time, aren't we? Anyway, I'm babbling. Love to you all. Have a great week. See you next time.